With Weblec, you get direct access to top experts in equine medicine and surgery. It is screwed firmly into the structure too. There is a slight oblique angle, and that's inevitable, so it's really important we know where we're placing the back in so we don't get it into the, uh, into the sinus uh, on the uh, uh, labral side. We're being careless. And then we can use a specially designed surgical mallet to slide up and down the pin and using this notch to, to, uh, uh, to uh, facilitate uh, uh, the tooth's removal. Um, so here we're sliding up and impacting onto this weight at the bottom and uh, we can actually then uh, remove the tooth uh, via this means. It's not a, an inverse repulsion, and I think that's one thing that should be stressed with this technique is that you can't apply the same force that you can do with a repulsion. So we have to do the elevating stage uh, pretty uh, thoroughly to uh, to get the tooth out. So here we are in a in a case that uh, was actually having bilateral fractured O nines extracted, and uh, we have the trocar through the cheek, the, the pin is screwed again. into the tooth. And you'll, you'll slowly hear with the, the audio on this. Uh, Just uh, down. Um, we'll see uh, the two uh, coming out from the socket. Uh, and that's the two from the socket. That's fine. And the benefit of this technique is that we can. Um, remove the tooth and keep the alveolus intact and that is uh, absolutely essential uh, for reducing our complication rates. So uh, having got that tooth out, we then unscrew it in, in a way that we would elevate a, uh, a, 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 a tooth and say a small animal um, and uh, we, we use elevators uh, that look much similar to long wolf tooth elevators uh, to elevate the buccal and uh, lateral aspect and uh, here I am on the same case, running the elevator up, and I'm looking at where the elevator is within the mouth, but I'm accessing through the cheek, so I'm in a straight line, and that means I can put more controlled force than you can with a right-angled elevator coming through the mouth. We then use uh, a, a special type of spreading elevator between the teeth. We can't use conventional molar spreaders because there's no crown uh, height to, to use them against, and so uh, these uh, elevators have a, a wedge shape to them, there's different angles for different applications, and we pass these up into between the teeth and then we can use a, a hammer with the aid of an assistant to advance the, uh, the elevator up between the teeth. 